What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Biggie2988 coming at your live once again through the power of the internet. And earlier this week, I posted a video talking about the potential death of Blizzard. <laughs> Maybe I called that one wrong, uh, because it looks like it might actually be the potential death of Activision at this point. Before we jump into this, uh, do me a favor, drop a like on this video down below, leave a comment, let me know what you think about it. If you're already subscribed, do me a favor and hit that notification bell, and if you're not subscribed, please hit subscribe. I think you'll be glad you did. There was a period of time that the company named Bungie would inspire awe in people. These people developed the original Halo franchise, working on the original games, creating memorable characters and world designs and gameplay that people just absolutely adored. So when it was announced that Bungie would be working on a game called Destiny, a new space shooter that included RPG and MMO elements in it, everybody was absolutely ecstatic because these are the guys who made space shooting what it is today. I mean, really, I feel like anytime I play a shooter that happens in space, it feels like it's somewhat based off of Halo combat. But before people could envision what the rating, what the PvP, what the leveling, what the guns could look like, it was also immediately connected to the Activision name because it was Activision who was going to basically purchase Bungie, run this game, and tell them how to make it. And Activision has a pretty bad history of how they do that. Just by taking a look at how they had monetized the beloved Call of Duty franchise over the years, we knew that Destiny might be in trouble even before it got started. Whether it was opening loot boxes for all to see on Normandy Beach, or whether it was locking a beloved remake behind the, the higher-end edition of another game, or whether it was this bastardization we've seen in Black Ops 4 of the Battle Pass system, uh, Activision has a way of getting its fingers into stuff and ruining it. Upon the launch of Destiny 1, uh, and Destiny 2 as well, it was received fairly favorably. The gameplay was solid, even though everything was kind of bullet spongy. The monetization, though, left a lot to be desired. The overall business model of Destiny, which is similar to, say, an EverQuest or a World of Warcraft business model, where we sell you the base game, then we sell you an expansion and another expansion and another expansion until you get sick of buying expansions, definitely probably was Activision's idea. A lot of other live services games, uh, Activision owns one like Overwatch, will ride the back of those microtransactions as the monetization and give you these expansions with new content, with new characters, with new levels, with new rates for free. And it was a wonder why they didn't do that with Destiny. And even though Destiny launched with microtransactions built directly into the game, they also launched four paid expansions, all of which you basically had to purchase if you wanted to stay current, and then all of your progress was basically erased with the full sequel, Destiny 2, being released in September of 2017. But at least with the first Destiny, most of the microtransactions were just cosmetic in nature. In Destiny 2, they affected gameplay. They used a bright Ingram system that basically were paid for loot boxes, and when you cracked open those Ingrams, you could actually get gameplay affecting items like this gameplay affecting ghost shell you see here, which would increase XP gains by 10%. And of course, on top of that, there were three paid expansions for Destiny 2 as well. So you could spend almost an unlimited amount of money on that game if you so desired. And during all of this, a lot of us old school Bungie fans wondered how much of this is Bungie just trying to cash in and cash out? How much of this is Activision interfering? Because since Activision funded the game and basically was running Bungie at that point, it looked like it might have been Activision because they'd done this with their other titles. Well, according to this blog post, us Bungie fans are finally going to find out because as of today, Bungie has separated itself from the folks over at Activision and they are taking the Destiny license and game with them. And with the incredibly talented people that work at Bungie, who have created what is ultimately a very beautiful game that got horribly marred by the decisions Activision had made, you could imagine tensions were very, very high between the two companies. And this was met as very good news by the people that work for Bungie, because Jason Schreier reports that employees cheered and popped champagne as the news was announced during a, an employee meeting. But it still remains to be seen whether or not Bungie will get it right, whether or not they'll do the right thing. But I remain very, very hopeful. If you take a close look at this statement, and I think the most important part of this statement is here. They say, with Forsaken, we've learned and listened and leaned into what we believe our players want from a great Destiny experience. Rest assured, there's more of that on the way. We'll continue to deliver on the existing Destiny roadmap, and we're looking forward to releasing more seasonal experiences in the coming months, as well as surprising our community with exciting announcements about what lies beyond. 
And I think this shows a very bright future for the folks over at Destiny uh, who develop it as well as the folks who play it. I think it shows a very bright future for the gaming industry as a whole. And I think that hopefully Destiny will get back on the right foot. And hopefully if we do see a Destiny 3, it'll be a much more complete, much more exciting and less microtransaction filled game. And I personally don't think there's anything wrong with the treadmill strategy, uh, you know, creating an expansion and then letting it go for three months or six months, then adding new content and adding more new content and adding seasonal content on top of that. I think that's not a bad system. It obviously worked for a lot of games in the past, but I think you need to pick either those are paid expansions or those are free expansions along with microtransactions. I don't think you can double dip. But based on how we see these Bungie employees celebrating now on Twitter and elsewhere, I think they feel exactly the same way. I feel like they've created a beautiful game, a well-designed game, an actually really fun game that was constantly being mocked and made fun of because of the morally bankrupt influence that Activision had had on the game. Now, if only Blizzard could do the same thing. Is it possible for Blizzard to do this now that Activision is crumbling and having all of these issues? Is it possible? Is it possible that we will actually see Blizzard break back off and go back to designing games the way they used to design them? Oh, please. Please let that happen. If you would be excited about that, let me know in the comments section below. I would literally, then I would be popping bottles. Let me tell you, I would be popping bottles. You know what? In fact, I'm going to pop a bottle. Should old acquaintance be forgot? Microtransactions rot in hell. This is, this is non-alcoholic. It's just fruit juice. It's sparkling fruit juice. It's also expired, so I'm not going to drink any, but whatever. But hey, it looks like actual good news for the gaming industry. 2019 starting off fairly decently and let me know what you think in the comments section below while you're down there drop a like on this video it really does help uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel i really would appreciate it if you did and while you're down there if you already subscribed hit that notification bell because it really does help if you rushed and be one of the first people to watch one of these videos so i'm gonna go uh pour this out because it smells really gross <laughs> guys as always thanks for watching i love you very much speak with you again soon and to the folks over there at uh, bungie Good luck. Congratulations.